The Freedoms of Tomorrow are really access because uh, we have reached a point where we have built societies that are based on the rule of law. More or less in some countries this is more problematic than others. But it's no longer a freedom of acknowledging uh, the right of, uh, of existence or as the American founding fathers would say, the pursuit of happiness and I, I always like to add, or the pursuit of unhappiness because this is what freedom truly is, choosing which way to go. But it would be a question of access. So do we provide access to education? Do we provide access to capital? Do we provide access to innovative technologies? Do we provide access to healthcare? And when I say access, I don't mean government provided access. I mean a mechanism that assures such access. Well, the same as throughout the history of humanity, that every individual is free to decide its own destiny and to live up to one's own potential. I believe this does not change so much. The, all the progress, all the technology may only be an instrument of liberty. We can approach new uh, uh, target groups uh, in technical terms, uh, uh, address people who have not wasted a thought about their freedoms and uh, uh, that they are under threat or can be under threat uh, in certain circumstances. And for countries where um, we have uh, a lack of freedom, and there are many in this region, um, hopefully uh, um, inspire them to, to uh, grow this space, enlarge it and uh, gain support and debate so that uh, um, fu the future of freedom is not a dark future but a bright future. Thank you.